ride or a cutaway. So you can see that it's kind of in between a van, just a normal van that we all drive, and one of these great big gillies, okay? And this is the shop area where everything comes in to get worked on all the time, every day. As you can see, they're very busy. This is in here right now. It's full. So if we get another one to break down, we're in trouble because there's no room to work on it. <laughs> and it, it talks all day long about the different things that go wrong with the buses. And the, the, the bus drivers report everything. I've got a light out. The bus is making a weird noise. The windshield wipers broke. All sorts of things. Come on over. Your car that you drive, your parents' car that you drive, or whatever. How much do you think this bus weighs? If a car weighs what? three thousand pounds, I think it, I think it, it would be like an elephant. Yeah. Six thousand. Six thousand. Twelve thousand. Any other guesses? Eight thousand. Twelve thousand. How much do you say? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. One hundred thousand. How much is that? Four thousand. Yeah. <laughs> so it weighs. Twenty-six thousand. 26,000 pounds. Wow. Take, this one here takes uh, 36 quarts. 36 quarts. How do you put the oil in? Do you just put like 36 of those little containers in and does it take you forever? No, we have the barrels full of oil. Like that one up there. Is that nine gallons? Yes. Oh. Uh, there's a cap up there. It says oil, right? There. See? Oh, okay. That's where you get to put the oil in. Well, that cap flips up, and yeah, then all the oil can go in right there. So it's totally different than when you're working on the car because you're bending over the hood, and you're, you're down here like this with these guys. It's probably a little bit easier, at least on your back. <laughs> Right here, so that you don't fall over, okay? And okay. wherever. 
We've got a program if, if your parent or grandparent, or when you get to be 60 like me next year, um, and you need a ride to a medical appointment outside of the county, there's no other requirements. We don't care how much you make. We don't care anything else other than you live in Mason County, you're 60 years or older, we will give you a free ride to your doctor's appointment, wait with you, and bring you back home. Okay? And that's not in a bus. That's in a private car. That's We have volunteer drivers that we go through the safe driving with them. We monitor their license. We monitor their car to make sure their car is safe. And, and they actually come, someone like me, comes in my car, picks up the senior, takes them to their doctor's appointment, waits with them, and takes them back home. I hear they stop by the grocery store sometimes too, but our, our program doesn't pay for that, so I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> um, we write a grant every year for that. I write a grant to AAA and Area Agency on Aging that helps pay for that program. So it's, it's a really good program. We also now have a program that we worked with the Disabled Veterans Administration, and they now have a van coming to Mason County twice a week to pick up veterans to go to American Lake, where they have to go for their services, and then on to Seattle if they have to go to Seattle. So that's something to keep in mind if you have veterans. And the Veterans Administration can, can help them with that. It's by an appointment, they just call and make an appointment, the van comes. It doesn't matter where they live, it doesn't matter if they live in the woods, they'll find a place to pick them up and take them to their veterans. So yeah, those were two real big things that we really needed in the county, and then just this year we were able to really establish this program. So. Yeah, so last year, I think it was last year, we bought this. This is super cool. This is a, it's a man-driven, basically. Our, 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 our man, our guy Dan, drives it like this right here. There's a gas. This is how you make it go, right? And this is just this steering thing. And what it does is this whole unit right here, I'll let you kind of fill the question in a minute. This turns this way, right? And then this brush thing kind of it starts spinning, and he just runs it along the back. All the way along, and around the back, and around the other side, and then around the front. And you see how tall it is, it gets all the way to the top of that great big plastic that you just on. Isn't that cool? It's super cool. So come on over and feel the brushes. Oh well, he does it. He, when he does it inside here, we have um, we have drains in all of our cars. Okay, so don't we do it outside? He usually does it outside. Let's go try one again. It actually doesn't spray a bunch of water. It actually doesn't even use that much water, right. which is really great. It uses way less than wa than washing by yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. So more just foamy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Fuzzy. Whatever this way, touch it. I can't feel it. Isn't it neat? Well, it hasn't been used for a while. The rain's doing our job for us. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we feel them? And it's, uh, what's that? Can we have them? Try? Wow. This is heavy. Wow. Okay, take yeah, it. Careful, careful. Both hands. Hey, so oh, this is heavy. What's Be really careful because they want to bump each other. Oh. <laughs> it's heavy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 